Thank you. Young, seemingly healthy athletes in the prime of their lives, suddenly they drop dead. These cases of lives being cut short without warning at high schools and colleges and other places. How does it happen? What goes wrong? How can you protect yourself? Sounds to me like a mystery, Dr. Bruce, and you've been looking into this, I know. Yeah, it's a mystery, but we're going to solve it because most people don't realize, Chuck, Colleen, that sudden death is completely different from a heart attack. A heart attack can occur over several decades when the block is in a blood vessel causing warning symptoms, but sudden death a cardiac arrest suddenly stopping may cause no symptoms at all. It may occur because of electrical or muscular problems affecting young, otherwise healthy people. But there are ways to detect and prevent it. On the surface, 34-year-old Chris Armstrong looks like the picture of health. I probably rode my bike between 100 and 150 miles a week. It's in the gym three days a week. Yeah, I was 8% body fat. And he has a great future now. But two years ago, without warnings, without symptoms, while talking to a co-worker, he dropped to the floor. And from what I've heard from that point, I went unconscious and uh, went into ventricular fibrillation. In ventricular fibrillation, the heart beats like a bag of worms, out of control, and then suddenly stops. The electrical system goes awry. The electrical system short circuits. If nothing is done, the person dies. Sudden death. It happens to 300,000 young, otherwise healthy people every year. Chris was one of the lucky ones. Uh, a couple of people ran downstairs and luckily you knew how to do CPR and started CPR on me right away. After he was revived, his co-workers called his wife, who arrived as paramedics were taking him to the hospital. Uh, I leaned over to give him a kiss. Goodbye, because I was afraid it was going to be the last kiss that I gave him. It wasn't the last kiss. Doctors immediately took steps to prevent the problem from ever occurring again. Where they implanted the defibrillator, there's a couple leads that come up underneath and then run down into my heart. Um, so in the event of um, uh, an, another arrest, it would basically shock my heart. That shock resets the rhythm. The heart beats normally. The danger of sudden death doesn't always come from electrical problems. Sometimes it comes from abnormal heart, such as in a condition called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, which we find often in student athletes. In HCM, the walls of the heart thicken and stiffen and can't pump blood well. Then we might have a lifestyle modification or perhaps start them on some medications. Holly Morrell founded Heartfelt Cardiac Projects to make people more aware of this danger because of a tragedy that struck her own family. I've lost six of my family members to the disease, so I've dedicated my life to sparing other families the grief of losing a loved one to perhaps a preventable tragedy. The foundation provides free testing to people with a family history, or those like Sandy Holmes, who are concerned they might be in danger even though they're active and healthy. I have, you know, a boyfriend that has this disease. I'm very scared that my son could possibly have it. A resting cardiogram, a treadmill stress test, an echocardiogram to look at the heart muscle in action. And Sandy's tests were all normal, making it very unlikely she'll ever have to go through what the Armstrongs experienced. But they got through it. They have a new daughter and a full life ahead. It's an incredible blessing to go from almost losing everything to having everything. Now, we can't prevent all sudden deaths, but we can't prevent most. If you have a family history or anyone you know is going to do strenuous physical exercise, get a full heart workup to detect silent problems that may save your life. i got to tell you a story. I was once running in a marathon. Somebody tapped me on the back. I thought it was because I was going slowly. It was a woman who had a sudden death that I treated in an ER mm -hmm. who had a defibrillator and was running in the marathon and running faster than me, than I. That's a great story. <laughs> a great story. Save lives, preventive medicine. Okay, thanks, Dr.